Coach, hard to believe another cross-country season starts already this weekend with the Augustana Twilight Meet on a Friday night. Talk about how preparations have gone for the start of the season. Uh, you know, they went pretty well considering the uh, conditions with the hot temperatures we've had. Uh, we've been doing a lot of 6 a.m. practices, uh, which has kind of helped uh, battle the heat a little bit. But uh, we got a young team this year, and uh, seen a lot of good things so far in practice. We're uh, you know, really trying to build towards uh, peaking at the end of the season, which is always our goal, obviously, every year. But, uh, you know, with the group we've got, uh, I've been pretty pleased with how things have went so far. Both teams are unique from the standpoint where you have a little bit of leadership at the top, and at the bottom, you got a whole crop of new runners. Yeah, you know, that definitely presents some challenges. Uh, you know, and I think our upperclassmen have done a good job so far of kind of stepping up and uh, providing that leadership that you mentioned uh, that we need from them. Uh, and I think that's going to be kind of an ongoing thing throughout the season just because of the number of young athletes that we do have on our team. So, you know, that's something that, you know, we're trying to work with not only with the leaders on the team, but as a coaching staff, uh, trying to work with those younger runners and trying to get them uh, to understand what the goals and expectations of the program are to compete well. Let's start off with the men's team, talk about some runners that have looked good so far, and talk about some other runners that you're expecting to make contributions to the team. Well, you know, I think uh, our top returners would be uh, our two seniors, uh, Greg Tracy and Greg the Wall. Uh, Greg had some injuries last year, which kind of hampered him at the end of the season, but, uh, you know, if we can get him healthy and keep him healthy throughout the season, I think he's got a, a real shot at doing some good things uh, this, this year. Uh, as far as newcomers, you know, some new guys, uh, Nick Simmons, I think is one that uh, can definitely help us right away. Corbin Lean, uh, he's a freshman. Uh, he's been looking good in practice. And so, you know, those are a couple of new guys that I think will um, step into our top five right away and hopefully be able to contribute. Talk about the women's team a little bit. You got, a, again, a, a great group of seniors and then a, a whole crop of new girls. Yeah, uh, Skylar Lippman, you know, she's our top returning senior. Uh, she and Holly Erickson. Uh, should be, you know, two of our top runners there. And uh, then we've got, you know, a big pack of runners that are all fairly equal, uh, or at least relatively equal right now in practice. Erin uh, Schmidt from West Point, she's been looking really good in practice. Uh, Christina Murillo from Bertrand, Nebraska, she's looked very good as well. Uh, and Andrea DeSimone, uh, I think those girls could be contending for definitely uh, top five spots uh, for us. And it should, I think, uh, make a good transition from the high school distance to the college distances. Talk about the opening meet Friday night, unique, where you're running in the dark up at Augustana, and talk about what you want to see from the team as they progress throughout the year. Well, you're right. It is a, a very unique uh, atmosphere to race in, being a dark cross-country course. Uh, you know, it is lighted uh, around soccer fields and with artificial lighting, but uh, it's a very unique experience that, you know, the kids have really liked. We went there two years. This is the third year they've hosted this meet, and our kids get excited for it. It's something different and unique. Uh, and, you know, we're looking to try to run as a pack. Uh, we've kind of been talking with our athletes so far with a bigger team. Uh, we can create some packs within the race, and they're going to try to key off of each other, help each other out through the, out the course of the race. And it's also a chance for us to see some of the conference competition. We'll have uh, Augustana, obviously, being the host there, uh, University of Sioux Falls, Minnesota State, Moorhead, uh, Southwest State, and Marshall, Minnesota. Uh, those are all conference schools that are going to be there. So it'll give us a little bit of a taste of competition. Uh, for the NSIC, and there's 18 teams there, so it's going to be a big meet. Uh, it's going to be the biggest that they've had in the three years of having the meet. So it'll be a very exciting atmosphere. 